What's up? This is Squash 2440. We're following Skylink to 17 Fire Rescue video. Today we'll be responding to a variety of fires here on the Square Farms map. We just got a call that a small camper is on fire at the local campgrounds. We'll be hopping here in our brand new 2017 Ford F-250 Extended Cab Chief truck. We'll be turning our lights and sirens on and we'll be making our way over to the volunteer station. It's the closest station to the fire and it does have the equipment needed to put it out. We'll be taking brush 71 since it is a bit of an off-road fire. We definitely do want to turn our lights and sirens on as we are rushing over to the station. Big shout out goes to R&R Apparatus for releasing this epic Ford pack and all the other fire vehicles that we are using in today's video. You guys can see we can respond pretty fast and it's pretty nice to get brand new fire vehicles here in the game but this truck really does an overall great job handling and you guys can see we are just about to arrive here at the station which is pretty cool. We'll turn off our lights and our sirens and we're just kind of park up right out on here now the time that getting over to the call after the call is called in is very important because we do want to put the fire out and not have it spread to different areas here on the map and this is a pretty cool map it will be released once I am finished with it towards the end of this month or early next you guys can see we are here in brush 71 it's our first time using this as a response vehicle which is pretty cool I do recommend you go check out the mod reviews earlier on this week for uh, in-depth reviews on all of the trucks used today but as you guys can see pretty high rates of speeds we are rushing over here pretty nice interior also but wow we actually did a pretty good job there response time which is very nice I will be looking to improve that but let's kind of take a look looks like I know whoa take a look at that there I see the fire we got to get there a little bit faster you guys can see a little bit of off-road and since we do brand new very expensive fire engines I do not really want to be taking it, them off-road so I think we'll kind of just get this parked up right over here looks like this camper is a total loss that will not be the best we'll we'll come back here we'll press enter and we'll get the fire hose take a look at that guys now we only do have a little bit less water so we do have to be pretty careful we might have to call in for backup if we do need it since we might run out but we'll definitely have to keep at this fire we got since it's a pretty big fire so far and it is actually a smaller camper which is helpful to us but yeah it looks like the entire thing is engulfed in flames and we'll have to keep at this looks like it's not spreading to any of the other trees which is nice that means that it's going to be a bit easier for us but as you guys can see this is still a work in progress map there's many things that I'm still currently trying to work out you guys can see some floating trees there in the background I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going awesome and I hope yours is too. We're definitely have to keep at this far. I think I would just kind of keep going around it. But you guys can see we're doing a pretty good job at keeping a steady uh, pace of water. And we are going all the way around which is perfect. We'll be able to kind of help put out this far. So as you guys can see we'll just keep at this as we walk around. After a little bit of time, you guys can see the fire is now out, which is awesome. I'm just trying to wet down the trail just to make sure no uh, spots will kind of recatch. That looks to be perfect. And as you guys can see, we responded to our first successful call here with a brand new 2017 Ford F-250. A lot of the fire vehicles we will now be using here for our fire series are brand new 2017 Fords, which is pretty cool. And you guys can see that this is a very nice first person view, which is awesome. Very high quality. And I will have the link down below in the description to the giant mod pack there's a variety of fire vehicles from brush trucks engines everything like that but as you guys since the fire is out so we'll kind of head back over here to the station and then once we do get back we'll be parking up this brush truck and then we'll be making our way to the brand new third station here on the map and we'll kind of staff that and we'll wait for a call over there once we do that I think we might switch back over to the main station here on the map trying to do different areas of the map different stations stations because each one do have different vehicles which is pretty cool for us it does help kind of change up all of the different calls we can respond to since uh, certain ones do respond to different things but I hope you guys are having a great day today let me know how it is down below in the comments my day is going good so far and I hope yours is too and I really do enjoy doing these fire rescue videos you guys showed a ton a ton of support on the upgrade video getting all of these which is pretty exciting I can't wait to do more upgrade videos and I actually did get a few comments when you do back in it 
you do want to turn all of your lights on which is pretty cool just take a look at all these lights like I was saying guys I did do an in-depth mod review but take a look at that guys we got this back to no problem whatsoever this F-250 is pretty nice to back in but you guys can see that's it here for this station we'll be hopping here in our 2017 Ford F-250 extended cab long bed we got the 8 foot bed on this you guys can see pretty nicely done I really do like the look of this truck especially as a chief truck with that LED light bar up top that is one pretty cool light bar so as you guys can see we'll now be making our way over here to the third station and I think we'll just kind of staff this hopefully we do get a call if not we'll definitely head back over to the other one but as you guys can see I am trying to find it more high quality mods just like this truck you guys can see great first person view and I will actually be doing a GT5 video within the next week or so so stay tuned for that I do have a video in the works and I can't wait for that that's going to be a pretty nice one but as you guys can see we are here on the square farms map it's a 20 field farm map all of the different animals are on the map and they do have their own farms and then you guys can see a giant town for landscaping and by request I did add in the Walmart Superstore right over here actually fits pretty well and there's a farm field in the back of it which is a bit interesting as you guys can see we are just about to arrive here at the fire station which is nice and I think since you guys since the parking lot is not done this is a work in progress map I think we'll just kind of park this right in front of the door over here just because I don't think we'll be getting a call that will require a boat just because the boating season is just now getting started not too much boats out so I think we'll just kind of park up right over here and we'll wait for a call we just got a call that the base of the windmill is on fire at the local biogas. We'll be hopping here in engine 70, our brand new engine. We'll be turning our lights and sirens on and we'll be making our way over to the biogas. I actually just recently added this to the map, which is pretty cool. Now, since we'll be going on a ton of farm rounds, I don't think we'll be needing our sirens. There's not too much traffic out here, but if we do see people, we'll definitely have to turn them on. As you guys can see, we are going now into the farming side here on the map. Take a look at that. There is a fire at the base of one of those. We gotta put it out before it damages the structure and possibly have one of these kind of come crashing down. But as you guys can see, as we are making our way over there, take a look at these farm fields. Pretty nice sized fields. These are on the bigger side here for the map. And there is a lot of room around the field to kind of turn around just so, to make it a bit easier for you guys with all the bigger equipment and everything like that. And there will be a ton of grass fields where you get place your own shops everything like that but I could actually see some smoke here in the distance and you guys can see it looks like a warehouse is right next to it so we got to get this under control before these giant uh, very tall windmills come down but as you guys can see take off that the curve does kind of send you a few times around when you do it kind of take a turn too sharp but take a look at that guys here it is whoa take a look at that we'll actually go through the other entrance just because this one is a work in progress but whoa take a look at that guys it's on fire you guys can see there's a ton of work to be done here on the map but overall i'm very excited for the release of it we are now arriving here let's actually wait our truck at the end i think that would be a pretty cool thing to do but first so we got to put out this fire i think it's kind of right over here actually we'll just kind of go through here we'll park up right over here we'll come back here get to our hose and it's kind of go rush over there we do have a pretty long hose like a hundred foot hose so it's going to come around back here take off that guys the base of this uh windmill is on fire so we got to put this out as quickly as possible take off that guys looks like it's on this side of it so we got to put this out before like we're saying the structure of this uh windmill is in danger but hope you guys are enjoying these fire rescue videos i really do enjoy doing these here on the channel these are a ton of fun and you guys also are liking them which is awesome i really do enjoy sharing my gameplay with all of you guys and the support you guys have been giving me over the years has been incredible as you guys since we are continuing to put out this fire it looks like it's a bit of a bigger fire than it what was called in but that's pretty usual it does kind of gain uh in size as we are responding but as you guys can see pretty tall whoa it take a look at that guys it's still spinning so let's kind of keep at this fire 
after quite a while guys the fire is now out which is awesome you guys can see it looks like it's still running which is pretty cool there's very minimal damage since it's all made out of steel we'll be coming back around here and we'll be put putting our hose away and I do want to see just how heavy this fire engine exactly is so we definitely want to turn off our lights and sirens and we'll kind of back up over here and put our engine here on the scale around this map there will be way stations just around three or four of them so if you do want to weigh your equipment, that will be pretty realistic, or even your hall. And it would actually have its own office building and everything like that. So as you guys can see, the scale does work. Looks like it's saying 2,100 pounds, which is not realistic. Fire engines are pretty heavy, and sometimes the game uh, isn't exactly right on those scales. But as you guys can see, we're leaving the biogas. And along the farm fields, you guys can see I did add in a bunch of houses, which look pretty cool. And overall, this map is coming along very well, which is exciting. I can't wait to do some pretty epic farming videos and all the other videos to come here on the channel. It's going to be a nice map, and I hope you guys are excited for it. I do have some pretty cool things planned here for the channel in the near future, so stay tuned for some very big surprises, some real life videos coming here to the channel, just around one to two weekly real life landscaping videos. I think that those are going to be some pretty cool things, and as you guys can see, we are just now returning to our station. It's a pretty long drive over, and you guys, like I was saying, it's a work in progress map. There's many areas that are not finished on below. This is a very far drive for us to kind of go back over there, which is fine, but it is still a little bit closer than the main station and I thought that we would use our brand new E71 pretty cool engine really do like a lot flat top and I mean this thing does look pretty cool really does handle nice guys since we've got it up to some pretty fast speeds and overall I hope you guys are enjoying all these different fire rescue videos and all of the different fires we do respond to but if you do have any cool ideas for this series let me know down below in the comments and stay tuned for a video very soon uh, where we put this building into a very cool thing here on the channel. I will be keeping that a surprise. But as you guys can see, we arrive back here at the station. We'll be turning our lights and sirens on and we'll be backing in. That's a pretty realistic thing to do as you do just kind of make your way back over here to the firehouse. And I really do like how we have three of them. And there is a police station here on the map already, which is pretty cool. Same one as the mowing map. You guys can see we'll be closing that door hopping here in our 2017 F-250. And I think we'll just kind of come here off the curb. But now, we'll be making our way over to the main station which is a very big we have the tiller truck a few engines and a tanker which is nice very big station I really do like that a lot in a layout of the square farms map is a very nice layout I like it a bit more than lawn care map and overall I think that this will be a better map uh, and uh, a lot more detail compared to the previous map I did release as you guys can see we are actually pretty close here to our fire station it's just over here to our left I mean it's not that far from each station which is nice at the same time but you guys can see we are arriving here at our old station we'll just kind of stop here for a little while and we'll wait for a call we just got a call that apartment building is on fire. I got the tiller truck warming up. We'll be hopping here on the inside of it. And we'll be leaving the station here with our lights and sirens. This will be one pretty big fire. And we do got to get over there pretty quick. Now I did update this tiller truck, which is pretty nice. You guys can see it is overall a very nice looking truck. I can't wait to respond to more fires. But take a look at that, guys. We can see the fire here in the distance. Those flames are giant. And we got to get over there as soon as possible. And I I know it's a bit unrealistic to only have one fire vehicle responding over there, but that's because we are here in single player, and I will be doing some multiplayer ones. But as you guys can see, we are just about to arrive here. Take off that. We definitely do not want to kind of go over there in the inside, and I think we'll just kind of pull up right like this. This looks to be good. We'll be hopping out of the tiller truck here, and we'll be hopping here in the back part. And this back area does control it, which is pretty cool. You guys can see we are getting this ladder up we do want to go right up above this apartment building take a look at that guys looks like there's a tree pretty much right there it actually looks like it's a little bit off to the side which is going to be pretty helpful and i really do like this tiller truck with a working ladder very very cool and now we'll kind of extend this out you guys can see going pretty much very high up here and a little bit further is what i would like to go so as you guys can see we are going all the way to the top there that looks to be good we'll be hopping out of here and i think it'll be pretty cool to get the stabilizers working here on the 
them. We'll be coming over here, grabbing our fire hose, and we'll be hopping up here, climbing up the ladder. Now, this is a pretty steep ladder, but take a look at that, guys. Looks like it's coming straight through the roof of this, which is a very interesting. Haven't responded to a fire quite like this in a very long time. You guys can see we are actually up top here on the roof. We pretty much just fell off of that, which is not the best. Hopefully, it does not collapse. But you guys can see we are kind of keeping at this fire. It looks like it is getting a little bit smaller, but this will be one pretty large fire. Like I was saying earlier, guys, if you do have any cool ideas for this series or any other series I do feature here on the channel, let me know down below in the comments. This is a pretty cool series that I really do like to feature here on the channel. As you guys can see, we are continuing to put water here on the roof. And as you guys can see, it looks like it is coming also from those windows. So this will be a bit tricky. And we actually do have to get back up there on our ladder. So that will be a bit tricky to do. We are now back up top here on our ladder. I think we'll just kind of keep at this. You guys can see we are doing a pretty good job keeping a ton of water here on it, which is perfect. And we'll definitely have to keep at this. The fire is now out, which was awesome. That did take us quite a long time, so we're just going to back up and kind of climb down this ladder. It was a bit scary there falling off this and onto the roof. Sometimes the roof does also collapse, but as you guys can see, today was a very successful fire rescue day. We were able to put out three unique fires here on the Square Farms map. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.